Hey, have you run into the problem of your robots not moving? You spend time coming up with a great idea, finding out great ways to make it move. You build it, you balance it, you code it, and then you hit the play button, but nothing happens. Your bot's not moving. Here are five questions to ask yourself to get your bot up and running in no time. All right, our first question is a straightforward one. Number one, are your motors plugged into the hub? It's easy to get so caught up with the build that you forget to plug in your motors. So when you take a look, you may see that you've not plugged in your motors into your hub. That's one of the very first things we check. Next thing we wanna check, number two, is your hub connected to the computer? You can see right on your device, on your Spike Prime hub, whether or not it's connected. That light should be solid blue if it's connected, and in your Spike Essential, this light should also be solid blue if you're connected. If it's just flashing or turned off, you're not connected and your code has not made it to your hub. You'll know you're connected to the hub whenever yet that light is a solid blue and you have the green check mark up at the top of your project. When your light is blue, you have the check mark at the top of your project. Question three, did you program the bot to move? Far too often we tell our bot how fast to move, but never actually tell it to go. Make sure you have a code block that directs movement or motors to actually turn. This block of code is a great way to start the program, but it doesn't actually tell our bot to move. It just says what motors to work with and how fast to go, but we never tell the bot to start moving. This code's a great idea, but we never tell the motor to turn. We just tell it to turn quickly. We can fix that by adding a rotation block and pushing the play button. Our fourth question, how many motors are you using? One motor works really well with those blue motor turn blocks. Two motors works really well with the pink movement blocks. So ask yourself, how many motors are you using? And is that number of motors matching up with the code blocks? One motor, blue turn blocks. Two motors, use the pink movement blocks. Our fifth question, are you using word blocks to code your bot? Make sure you have the super important movement blocks to start your program. Anytime you're using two motors and word blocks, you want to make sure that you have set movement motors two, set movement speed two, and set one motor rotation two. Those three pieces of code tell your hub how to move your bot. And if you're using pink movement blocks and forget those steps, your robot's not gonna know how to move. If you ask yourself those five questions in order, you'll have your robot moving around in no time.